Hello, folks. Rebel Yeah here. Making the instruction video on making a finishing hamburger. I made some damn good finishing burger. And this is my way of making hamburger out of deer meat and beef brisket. I'm going to show you what I got here. What we're starting. And we're going to show you step by step how we be doing this. Okay? What you see there. That's the cutter size that I'm using. It's got the three-eighths holes in it. And as we move forward, when we go to second grind, we're going to change that out with this one. That's the final grind. That's about one-eighth, I guess. But that's the size you use to make your final product. Grind one time through that, one time through that, vacuum seal your burger, and you're ready to go. You got some good bug at that point. What I be having there is, this right here is my venison, and this right here is my brisket. I got a 10 pound brisket cubed up right there. See, you know, you don't really count the pure pounds of the brisket because you got some fat and some meat with it. So, you know, that's probably about a, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a 50% fat, 50% beef brisket, but uh, so you cut that down to half, they'd be like having five pounds, five pounds. Fat. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm not going lean on this. It's just a good burger. I got about 20 pounds of meat here. Maybe 15, 20 pounds of meat there on the venison. Yes, sir. That's what we're gonna do there. That's what we about to grind up. All right, now we about to start the grind. Here we go. We're gonna turn this machine on here. Of that first grind like that, and just 
kind of squeeze it around like that right there. You can call it what you want. Some people call this a meat turd. That's what it look like. See that? It look like a meat turd. Ow! Ow, that hook. We're going to put it in the ground here when it come out right there. We're going to push it up. patties in there. You know, because every time I cook these patties, everybody be saying, where's mine? Rebel Yell get a patty. We want to taste test too, because them patties are good. But anyway, let me tell you, you look at that, look at that, see that? You don't see a whole lot of fat coming off them patties. Just a little bit sizzling right there on the edge. That's about perfect, man. That ain't like a real lean, and it ain't real fatty, neither. Them briskets make them good. You make you some fatty like that right there just to taste test them. Every time a Rebel Yell cooks, uh, makes, makes, uh, grinds up venison, we always make us some patties. Mmm, that looks good. I can't wait to get some of that. But gotta get back to work. It looks like they good. I ain't gonna need to taste them. I'm gonna go ahead and finish grinding, and then we're gonna get back to the grinding. Then we'll eat them patties later. Mm-hmm, they look good. Really, yeah. Then he's got the second grind on this meat here. I put an ice cube in through that grinder just to push the rest of that meat on out. That's another trick, just to clean out your spiral on your grinder. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start balling this up into one pound balls, or footballs, so to speak. Look like an egg. Fits right on in that quart size vacuum seal bag. Perfect, man. Just perfect for any meal. Uh, unless you got a big family, then you might want to do some two pound packs, you know. I like flattening them out. I'm going to show you the end result when we get to that part. I got some other things I need to teach you folks. <laughs> Let me get this stuff going. Rebel Yell make a one pound ball right there. I bet that a maybe. Let me see what we think it is. Look at that <laughs> one. Oh, you can't see that. That one pound right there. See? You go one pound, and when you get your one pound, you get good like Rebel Yell, and you be able to do it without measuring it. <laughs> All right, Rebel Yell done measured him all up into one pound eggs. That's what I call them. That's what I take right there and stuff in the vacuum seal bags. Then I smash them, and then I vacuum seal them, and then we put them in the freezer. And that's how you make hamburger, venison hamburger, the Rebel Yell way. Remember, I'm going to tell you something right now. Let me get over here in front of the camera. Rebel Yell going to tell you. Before you start grinding, originally start grinding your meat the first time. You know, you thaw that meat out. I like freezing that, that benching after I debone it in one gallon bags just up and pull then I get my brisket, I cut it up and I freeze it. Then when I'm ready to do this, I take all that out in the back, one gallon bags, I put them in the ice chest for three days or two days, however long it's going to take to thaw out. It normally I have to put them out on Wednesday so I can do it on Saturday, see. Anyway, uh, you got to make sure that meat is really cold, you know, no more than 40 degrees. You want them when you're pulling them that big old wad of venison apart. The center is still kind of frozen, but you can pull it apart. It makes your hands hurt, it's so cold. 
That way your meat stay cold through the process. Don't let your meat warm up and start coming out that grinder gooey. And if you do that, you got to take put that meat back in the freezer for a while, get it back down to about 4 degrees, and then it'll grind real good. That's just a tip. Don't forget that part, because that is a key part to grind the hamburger meat. But we will find that out the hard way one day. So, uh, just so we know. All right. Uh, we're going to... Last step is bagging it up for the freezing. So, let's see how it goes. We're going to get back to work, and we're going to come back with you in a minute with the bagging it up for the freezing. Now we're going to start. Stuff the one pound egg of venison burger in there. Put the rough side of the paper down. I use food saver. That's my favorite. Take up a lot of freezer space, you stack them real tight. It's like books. Ha ha. One pound of burger right there. Alright. Remember, you got all that burger from that hamburger dough. That was that hamburger dough Chase killed in that other video we got on here on YouTube. We got some steaks and some, uh, pepper steaks and chicken fried tender steaks and we have some other stuff we cut out of it as well but this is what we turned into burger Chase's hamburger dough turns into that so it's time to go put it in the freezer now get it all frozen up for our consumption of the year well let me see Rebel yeah. I hope I've showed you how to make your own venison burger. And let me tell you, if you follow my steps and listen to everything, you will have some good tasting venison burger. It'll be the best you ever had in your life. Cause Rebel Yell is the burger maker. Thanks for watching us on YouTube. Watch all my other videos too, folks. Don't miss. Oh man, a lot of people been watching just part one of uh, you know where Rebel Yell gets lost in the wild. I think it's the search for Rebel Yell part one. Make sure you watch part two because it gets better at the end. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to add that because I noticed that people ain't watching part one and two. They didn't watch part two, one and think, oh, that's all they to it. The good stuff don't happen to part two. <laughs> See you on YouTube, buddies. More to come. If anybody got any ideas or anything they want to see Rebel Yell do, comment on it. Hit like on it, man. Rebel Yell, Yell need, to, need to know how you like them or not. If you don't like me, tell me you don't like me. Put a thumb down. I like thumbs up. <laughs> My phone ringing now, so I got to go. <laughs>